Oil prices shot to six-month high ahead of the U.S. announcement that it will scrap exemptions on Iran crude imports. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo confirmed that Washington will not extend waivers it had granted to eight countries. Today I'm announcing that we will no longer grant any exemptions. We're going to zero, going to zero across the board. We cross live now to RT's Caleb Maupin. Caleb, markets are jittery on the news. Did Mike Pompeo give any assurances that could relieve the tension? Well, we heard from Mike Pompeo, and it seems like Washington, D.C. is looking to escalate uh, its campaign against Iran, to isolate Iran. Now, in his announcement, Pompeo bragged that Iran has already lost about $10 billion. And he said in his remarks, he emphasized basically that nobody should be doing any business with Iran. This is Mike Pompeo. Any nation or entity interacting with Iran should do its diligence and err on the side of caution. The risks are simply not going to be worth the benefits. If you don't abide by this, there'll be sanctions. Now, it's been about a year since the Trump administration unilaterally, unilaterally withdrew from the JCPOA, the P5 plus one nuclear conclusion, um, and basically pulled the United States out of the nuclear deal that had been made with Iran. And now uh, we see that there have been eight countries in the world that were, uh, were granted waivers um, and allowed to continue uh, buying Iranian oil um, in exchange for the fact that they were reducing it. They were granted waivers from the U.S. sanctions. Those countries were China. India, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, Turkey, Italy, and Greece. And uh, at this point, those waivers are now being taken away. Uh, the United States is announcing there will be no exceptions. There will be no Iranian oil. Uh, they are saying no one should do business with Iran. And the countries who want to make up the difference should either buy crude from the United States or they should buy it from Saudi Arabia or the United Arab Emirates. Uh, this is what we heard from Pompeo making the announcement. Both the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates have assured us they will ensure an appropriate supply for the markets. And of course, the United States is now a significant producer as well. I can confirm that uh, uh, each of those suppliers are working directly with Iran's former customers to make the transition away from Iranian crude less disruptive. Now, the People's Republic of China, which imports quite a bit of oil from Iran, was certainly not happy to hear this announcement. This is the reaction we heard from Chinese officials. China always opposes unilateral sanctions and long-arm U.S. jurisdiction. China's cooperation with Iran is open, transparent and legitimate and should be respected. Now, Turkey has also voiced opposition to this announcement, saying it rejects this unilateral move from the United States. We're waiting to hear from the European Union, which has long been an advocate of the nuclear deal and a critic of the way Trump unilaterally withdrew the United States from it. So we're waiting to see further reactions. Uh, we've seen the reaction on the international oil markets. Uh, this is a dramatic move from the United States. Uh, RT's Caleb Moffin reporting live from New York. Thank you.